Here's how I use Runway Gen 3 to turn my client's photos into videos for Reels. First thing, after navigating to runway.ml, select the Image to Video tool. Once it's open, you want to go ahead and find your photo, drag and drop it here, let it upload, readjust it, crop it if you need to, and then you got to give it a prompt, making sure to include things like subject, lighting, camera movements. The more detail you can add to this, the better. Now, if you're not sure what to add in here to describe your shot, you've never used a camera, you're not really a camera person, um, and, or you're not getting the right results, Runway is great about adding in resources into their software to learn how to use their software. So you can come down here, they have a guide and they have examples. So if you click on the guide, it opens up a new window and you can read through all of this and it tells you exactly how the AI uh, essentially understands. So if you're using like an image and text-based prompt, you can use like this right here, uh, subject cheerfully poses her hands forming a peace sign. Uh, so you can go through all this and it gives you a better idea of how to use it. And if you scroll down here, it gives you examples. So uh, keywords here for low angle, this is essentially what you're gonna get. High angle, here's what you're gonna get, uh, and so on and so forth. So you can use this to really fine tune what you're trying to get from the video aspect of it. Now, if you come back over here, you can go into examples and you can actually just apply certain things. So a person in a crowd, and it gives you an entire example of what you need and you can just uh, plug and play as you go. So if you don't know how to use a camera and you don't know what to describe here, don't worry, Runway's got you. Here are the results that I got from these images. So not bad, not bad. And then here's the second one. So this is very simple movements, looks decent. It kind of looks like I just did this in post. It doesn't actually look like a camera um, for this one, but this one right here with the coffee, this one actually did look like a video and that's because of the steam right here. Now the problem that I saw with this is there's some artifacts right here. So the AI tried to do a reflection uh, but it came up as smoke on the table uh, and there's a little bit of smoke over here too um, So a little bit but uh, as you'll see later how I used it none of this actually mattered So I'm pretty happy with this simple result actually uh, and I did some others here. So uh, So I wanted the bun to fall on top of the burger, but uh, as you can see it didn't take away, I was expecting it to take this bun away, the top bun, but it didn't. So I wanted to try to fix that. Uh, so I took an image without the bun on top and here are the results I got from that. Uh, not perfect. Obviously the bun is way too big and then the movement just isn't there. As soon as it hits, it just really, it just stops dead. Um, so not great and also the burger uh, shrinks. Um, then also there's a piece of wood, which is at the bottom of the image that is on top of another bun. So not a great generation here. The only movement I really liked was on this one here as it falls down. It's, it's a real good movement right here. But again, we have the bun here at the end. As you can see, it's kind of hard to notice, but the bun is underneath the wooden platter that the Whole thing is sitting on which this is the bottom of the actual image here so what it added to the image was wrong so what i want to do now is i want to take these videos that i've created from images so my clients have a bunch of photos but they don't have a videographer on staff they're across the country so essentially what i want to do is i want to create assets that are engaging for their social media that doesn't require me traveling out to them because then they can't really afford to have um, a videographer flown out to them CapCut has a lot of templates that allow you to keep costs down. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab these videos that you made in Runway and drag them into CapCut. And then from here, you wanna click on this edit. Once you find your template, you wanna click on this edit and then essentially you just drag it down into space, replace clip, confirm, and then do that for each one of these, confirm. And essentially what you're gonna have is you're gonna have something like this. So now you've essentially taken photos that your client gave you and you turned them into something that is engaging and usable on social media that is more than just a static image.